Hello everyone, welcome to Yellow Pages Nursing. In today's video, we will be discussing about blood transfusion drip rate calculation. Before entering into the session, if you have not subscribed our channel, please subscribe our channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon to receive instant notifications. Let's get into the topic. Here, we will be discussing certain important points which are useful for blood transfusion drip rate calculation. While transfusing packed red blood cells, we must consider certain important points. First is, when we receive blood unit from the blood bank, within what time frame should the transfusion be commenced? And the next will be, what is the maximum time for transfusing the blood? Next, we will be discussing about the blood administration set or blood transfusion set. Here, we will discuss about two important points, micron filter and drop factor of the blood administration set. Next, we will be discussing about the transfusion rate or flow rate of the blood for first 15 minutes, how the transfusion will be and after that, how the drip rate will be. When we receive blood unit from the blood bank, the transfusion should begin within 30 minutes of receiving the blood and the maximum time for blood transfusion will be 4 hours. Next comes the blood administration set. Blood administration set has a drop factor of 20 drops equal to 1 ml where drop factor is nothing but number of drops in 1 ml. And blood transfusion set has a micron filter of about 170 to 200. It filters microaggregates and prevent the accumulation of clots in the filter. Both the drop factor and the micron filter size can be seen in the blood administration set package. In this image, we have highlighted 20 drops of distilled water equivalent to 1 ml, that is, 1 ml contains 20 drops. When we take a look at this image, two things are highlighted one is the drop which is the drop factor that is 20 drops per ml and the other one is the micron filter that is 200. Next comes the flow rate or the drip rate. Blood transfusion should begin at a slower rate for the first 15 minutes. Why? Because moderate to severe blood reactions occur during the first 15 minutes of blood transfusion. After 15 minutes, the drip rate should be as calculated or as prescribed but the flow rate should be adjusted according to the volume that the patient's circulatory system can tolerate let's do the drip calculation of blood transfusion with an example a unit of blood prbc 350 ml is prescribed to run over four hours what is the flow rate drops per minute the formula will be flow rate equal to Total infusion volume multiplied by drop factor divided by time in minutes which gives drops per minute. Here the total infusion volume will be 350 ml. Blood transfusion set drop factor is 20 drops per ml. As discussed before, time in minutes will be 4 multiplied by 60. And applying all this into the formula, we get the answer. 29 drops per minute. For documenting in the intake output chart, we can calculate ml per hour using the formula total infusion volume divided by total infusion time in hours, that is 350 divided by 4, which gives 87.5 ml per hour. So, we need to transfuse the blood at a rate of 29 drops per minute. But, as we discussed before, for the first 15 minutes, we should start the blood at a rate of 10 to 15 drops per minute and after 15 minutes, we can start the transfusion as we calculated, that is 29 drops per minute. One more example is, a unit of blood PRBC 400 ml is prescribed to run over 4 hours, what is the flow rate, that is drops per minute. Formula will be flow rate equal to total infusion volume multiplied by drop factor divided by time in minutes equal to drops per minute. Here, the total infusion volume is 400 ml. Drop factor is 20 drops per ml. 
and time in minutes will be 4 multiplied by 60. Applying all into the formula, we get the answer 33 drops per minute. And for calculating ml per hour, formula is total infusion volume divided by total infusion time that is 400 divided by 4 which gives 100 ml per hour. Hence, we need to start the blood transfusion rate at 33 drops per minute. But as we discussed before, for the first 15 minutes, we need to start the blood transfusion at a rate of 16 to 20 drops per minute. And after 15 minutes, as calculated, we can start as 33 drops per minute. Approximately half of the calculated flow rate will be the flow rate for the first 15 minutes. Here comes one more example for your practice. A unit of blood PRBC 300 ml is prescribed to run over 2 hours. What is the flow rate that is drops per minute? You can mention the answers in the comment box. So far, we have discussed about the calculation for transfusing blood and this is not the procedure which includes so many steps like consent, pre-vitals, which we will be discussing in our upcoming sessions. If you find this video useful, please like it and please subscribe it and do not forget to hit the bell icon to receive instant notifications. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.